Hi everyone, John Davenport from Fogarabadi.com and today we're going to look a little bit at how I created this photograph here. Um, when I was out in the field, I got this idea to create a vertical panoramic image. I thought that it'd be kind of cool to see what would happen if I decided to just tilt my um, lens back uh, incrementally and then stitch all those images together in Photoshop later. So I'm going to kind of show you how I went through that process here um, in Photoshop and in Lightroom. So first thing we'll jump, we'll do is we'll jump into Lightroom and these are the four images that I ended up um, using and you can see that over time I just basically ended up this final image the camera is almost pointed straight up at the sky whereas this first image were pointed right out at the um, the bridge down down below there so what I'm gonna do really quickly is just kinda edit a little bit here just to show you um, one of the steps that is kind of important in this whole process and that's this um, idea of synchronizing your edit across um, Lightroom photos so what we're gonna do is we have our first image selected and edited and then we're gonna select the other three images that we want to use in this panoramic photo and then we're gonna click sync and then synchronize and what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring all the settings that I just changed here in this first photo across to the other three images so now what we, we would do is we would export these images out and then we would open them up in Photoshop I've already done that um, just to save some time so you can see these are the images that I actually used in the photo and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to um, file automate photo merge and what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up this dialog box if you click add open files it'll actually bring in all the photos that are or all the files that are already open in Photoshop and then you just click OK and now what this is gonna do is it's gonna take all four of those photos and put them all into this one um, palette here with as four different layers and then it's gonna mask them together and and position them how it thinks that it should be positioned based on the content of each photo um, because my computer's a little slow it's gonna take a few minutes so I'm just gonna edit that time out and I'll be back in uh, at least for you it'll be a matter of seconds okay so here we are back um, the image has been blended together you can see over here on the right hand side um, how Photoshop decided to do that and I've, I've actually recorded this a few times this is like my third or fourth take just running through this process um, trying to get the video right and I've noticed that each time it does actually do this masking uh, slightly differently so um, that's something to note if you don't like how it came out the first time you could you could try it again and uh, maybe it'll do a better job the next time through um, so what you can see here right now is that we have all this empty space because of how it's fit everything together you have like this really top like mushroom looking figure here um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our crop tool and we're just gonna come down and we're gonna crop in some kind of a like rectangular figure here and we're just gonna um, accept this crop and the problem that we still have is that the corners are still these empty spaces now we could come in and we could crop in like this but as you would notice it would actually cut into our bridge and it, it just wouldn't work compositionally so what we're gonna have to do is figure out how to deal with these um, corners so if you go and you merge your layers down you're left with this one image and then if you select the content area of your image um, we can go up to select inverse and that will select everything that isn't your image and then we'll go to select modify expand um, and we're going to expand by 10 pixels I feel I find that 10 pixels works uh, pretty well for what we're going to do and what that basically does is it just expands the selection that we have by 10 pixels and so then we're going to do shift delete and that'll bring up our content aware fill dialog box and click OK and again this is going to take a couple of minutes so I'll just edit this process out I'll be back in a second okay so here we are we have this rectangular image and as you can see Photoshop has filled in the corners for us 
can go and deselect those. Um, and now that's basically the hard part. That's it that we really need to do. The rest would be up to you as, as far as finalizing your edits and how you want the photograph to look. But um, stitching everything together and, uh, you know, the synchronizing and Lightroom and all, all of that might have been new to you. So uh, I hope I was able to teach you something and show you something new. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if you like this video, please click like and um, don't forget to subscribe if you have yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.